So this is Biology 2 Lesson 3 and it's about the heart. The opening slide has a diagram of the heart and a diagram of the circulatory system. So you should have answered a Microsoft form diagnostic quiz about this and it's there to find out what you already know. So it's in the quizzes section of your notebook. So if you haven't done that, you'll need to pause the video and go and do that first. So we're learning about the heart, so you need to be able to describe the circulatory system and explain its purpose. And you'll do that by labelling the parts and the blood vessels, explaining why the left hand side is thicker, and then explaining what's meant by the term double circulatory system. So here's a diagram of the heart. Now when we label the diagram of the heart, we do it as if we're looking at somebody who is laying down on their back with their eyes facing forward. So what that means is that the right hand side of the diagram is actually the left hand side of the heart. So it's tricky to get your head around that. But one way that we can remember it is that the left hand side is thicker. Now it's not how you spell it, but how I've always remembered it is that the left hand side is thicker. Can't use the TH because right has got a T in it, but I remember left thicker. And then I always remember the blood vessels going across by valve. And that's vein, artery, artery, vein. And then another trick that I remember is that the arteries always move away from the heart and they begin with an A as well. And if you really wanted to look at the A's, they look like they're pointing away. And then the veins always go into the heart and the word vein has got the word in in it. And if you look at the arrows, they're pointing in. So that helped me to remember certain parts of the heart. And from that, I can work out quite a lot of things about it. So, if we look at the actual labels, the left hand side is thicker. And the reason that it's thicker is because it's got more muscle. And because it's got more muscle, it can pump blood with more force. And it needs to be able to do that because the blood from this side, from the left hand side, is actually being pumped around the whole body. So, the artery is in the middle, so if you remember I said valve and you know that these arrows are moving out well the artery that's taking that blood around the body is the main artery and it's called the aorta and I always remember that aorta the body aorta the body so what happens is the aorta pumps blood to the whole body because its wall has got thicker muscle and so it can pump blood with more force and it goes and delivers oxygen to the whole of the body and then when it returns it returns on the right hand side of the heart and it goes in via the main vein and that main vein is called the vena cava sometimes people call it the vena cava so the blood goes into this vein and it enters a chamber which is labeled E called an atrium and there's also an atrium on the left hand side so E and F are both atria so atria is the plural so we've got the right atrium and the left atrium and then they both have chambers below them which are referred to as ventricles which is what G and H are so the right ventricle is G and the left ventricle is H so when the blood enters the vena cava it goes into the right atrium and then the right ventricle and it comes out through an artery so remember vein artery artery vein so it comes out here via an artery and that's going back to the lungs so it comes in from the body and it's going back to the lungs to pick up more oxygen so that's called the pulmonary artery and that's how I remember where that one is because pulmonary is a word that's associated with the lungs so it's coming in from the body and out to the lungs whereas at the other side it's coming in from the lungs which is why that's called a pulmonary vein and remember veins go in so in from the lungs and out to the body so each side of the heart has got something that's associated with the body and something that's associated with the lungs now up the middle it's got a wall that separates the two sides of the heart completely and there's no mixing and that wall is called the interventricular I don't know if you can see that properly, I'm just going to rub it out and write it again. 
so it's called the inter which means in between ventricular in between the ventricles ventricular septum and a septum is a wall so in between the ventricles wall so interventricular septum and it separates the two sides of the heart completely so that the blood cannot mix and then also it's got these flaps here now those flaps can close to seal the atria and to seal the ventricles and they're called valves and the reason that the heart has these valves is to stop backflow and you'll notice that the arteries here have them as well and that's also to stop the blood going backwards but arteries don't typically have valves so I'll just show you in a different colour the pathway of the blood so it comes in from the lungs where it's got lots of oxygen into the atrium, the left atrium, into the left ventricle and out to the body which is why it's got thicker muscle to pump blood with more force because it has to get to the whole of the body. Then when it's delivered the oxygen and picked up carbon dioxide it comes back in to the vena cava, into the right atrium, into the right ventricle and out to the lungs again to pick up more. Now what happens is, this happens both sides simultaneously, so I'll show you on this diagram. So it goes in both sides at the same time, that's what simultaneously means, through the veins into the atria and then into the ventricles and then out through the arteries. So it goes atrium ventricles, atrium ventricles, atrium ventricles, bubum, bubum, bubum and that's where your heartbeat comes from so if we have a look at the circulatory system as a whole now so you can see on here how it's connected to the body and the lungs so you've got your heart again in the middle and again vein, artery, artery, vein and so you can see they're going in the directions that I've shown you so the veins are going in and the arteries are going away and on this diagram red is showing you the oxygenated blood and blue is showing you the deoxygenated blood but you don't have two colours of blood so when you breathe in your blood gets loaded with oxygen and it arrives to the left hand side of the heart which is thicker this diagram doesn't show it as thicker but it's thicker so it comes from the lungs loaded with oxygen via the pulmonary vein remember veins go in so pulmonary is associated with lungs pulmonary vein it goes into the left atrium into the left ventricle and out through the aorta so you remember the aorta the body then it goes to the body and the organs in the body and the oxygen gets dropped off and the carbon dioxide gets released because that's respiration but we'll talk about that in another lesson so all blood returning to the heart returns to the left hand side and goes in via a vein, vena cava. And then it goes into the right atrium, the right ventricle, and then it comes out through the pulmonary artery. So remember that's associated with lungs, pulmonary artery, because arteries move away and then it goes back to the lungs where it picks up more oxygen and then that continues. What I'd like you to do now is, I'd like you to have a look by clicking on the link at this um, heart dissection. So he, we can't do a heart dissection because obviously we're not in school, but he dissects a heart and describes all about it, so it's the nearest that you'll get. Then after that, what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to have a go at this exam question. So when you've had a go at this exam question, we'll then be able to go through the answers. So I'll put, post the answers in your notebook which we, is what you'll do for the review session of the lesson.